Hey guys, Atticus James here with GearsWithGuns.com and we've got 1911s today! So today we're going to be talking about 1911s. I have my 1911 chambered in 45, which we're going to talk about briefly, but the majority of what our conversation is going to be about is going to be the Colt 1911s chambered in 22 long rifle from Walther. Now, this is the, the newest one that I have and the review gun that I really want to focus on today because it's new. So, many of the, the followers of ours who have read our many articles in the past know that I have reviewed this not once but twice on GearsOfGuns.com and that is because, well, I love it. It's a great gun and it's one that I think really needs to have a lot of credit. There are some problems, and then, you know, there are some reasons why you, you might want to have both of these or one of these in your collection if you like to shoot 45 out of your 1911s. So, let's talk first about what these guns are. Like I said, this is the third time that I've done this, so we do have two different models here. The one that we've reviewed twice in the past has been the rail, the Colt rail gun, and that's just so that way that I could go and put lights on it, I can use it for a bunch of different things that, you know, you might not get the option to review because most people are going to be running off of a 45 or a 9mm. I kind of wanted to have a 22 to show the difference for that. The plans didn't necessarily work out, but I ended up buying the gun and it's been one of my favorite pistols, one of my favorite 22 pistols that I own. But I bought a new one, and that is this standard A1 model, which is going to be very, very similar to the 45 that we have here. And many of you guys may be already very familiar with my holster. Now, I do like to use my Comtac holster, and the problem is, is that I cannot carry the railgun in this contact holster because it was not designed for the rail model. So I have this so I can actually train with it. So I've been talking a lot about training and, and shooting and using these guns and you might be sitting there going, well, you know, if you have the 45, why not just use that for training? It's a lot better, but the reality is, is that 22 is cheaper since it fits in my holster, I can train with it, I can actually use it for you know, live practice without worrying about the cost of 45. 45 is $18 a box. This, it, for 550 rounds, was $18. So it's a great price when I can get 550 rounds, I can train all day. Yeah, I may not have the exact full weight, I may not have the recoil, and you know, there, there are many other reasons that it's not exactly the same but there's enough similarities between this and the real one that this is a great training aid for maybe somebody who's younger who wants to go and shoot. It's heavy enough that they realize that guns are not this ultra light thing that they're, they're gonna have some heft to them. So you can see if they're like, oh my gosh, this is too heavy. You probably don't wanna put them with this one as it's much heavier. If they can't handle a gun like this, obviously they're not going to be ready for a 45. So it gives you something for teaching people how to shoot. It gives you something for you to go out and use. And if you have kids, they see Pops carrying his 45. They want to go and be able to shoot that, but they're not big enough yet. You start them off on this because they see this in your training and your use. And now, as they grow older, they can come into their own being able to use the 45. It's a great way for a lot of different functions and uses. So, let's go. So, <clears throat> we have three magazines. We have three magazines that we're going to load. Each of these are 12 rounds. And they have this little piece of plastic that comes in your kit. Now with that, you go and use your thumb, and you can load up your rounds a little bit easier than having to go and try and run right on this or having to push down. It makes it a little bit faster for speed loading. It's nice. I'm going to load up these mags. 
I'll meet you guys out at the range. All right, so now we're out at the range. We're at about 15 yards and well, it's time to shoot. So like I said, I have three magazines set up with 12 rounds each. And the nice thing is, is that in these taco pouches, since these magazines are so small, you can go and stuff two mags into one pouch. And that way that, if you have a lot of magazines, you can really just continue to just shoot all day, load once, and you're good to go. So this is the first shot out of this magazine. Normally we, we try to go and shoot some before we come out to the range, just to verify that the gun works before we really get our first look done. But today you're gonna get to see the first trigger pull on this gun, so let's hope I don't mess up. We're at 15 yards with the 22. There's not a whole lot that really, I mean, I might miss occasionally because, you know, I do something stupid or I look wrong, but. <laughs> kind of hard to mess up too badly when you're this close with the 22. Now, there's always something in a review that I don't like. And that's these magazines. And this one is a seven round magazine in 45 and I can pick these up for, you know, about $12. And they're not a whole lot of metal and, you know, this isn't a whole lot of metal either. Some plastic, a simple spring. And Walter wants $35 for this. I mean, even if you were to be able to find it on Brownells, which they're sold out of right now, they want $27 for a 22 long rifle magazine. I mean, this is an absolute ripoff. I'm, I'm very disappointed in any gun manufacturer that thinks that their magazines need to be so expensive that you really don't want to buy a ton of them. Honestly, if you're gonna buy their gun, and whether their gun is, you know, 350 bucks with one mag, or, you know, $10,000 with two mags, your magazines should not be so expensive that the person who's buying your gun says, is $35 for one magazine worth the cost of a couple of boxes of ammo? Because to me, you should never be spending more on a magazine than you are on ammunition for the gun. That just is outrageous. And honestly, shame on any gun manufacturer, including Walther, who does this. Don't do that. You know, you guys want to market them for 12 bucks? Fine. That's what the, the market standard is for magazines, for, you know, these kind of magazines, for Glock Max, for a lot of different kinds of, of standard magazines. And I get it. It's not a standard magazine. It only goes to one brand. It only goes to, to one gun, but $35, me as a customer, I want to be able to come to my range and have three magazines, four magazines, eight magazines, a hundred magazines. So that way that I can really train and use your, their guns. And that's just too expensive for me. So that's going to be my rant for Walther and, and the big thing that I don't like about this because otherwise it's a great gun. It works, it shoots, it's fun to shoot. I clearly shoot a little bit off, but you know, you know, whatever. So is the gun worth it? Like I said, around 350 bucks is what you're gonna be able to get this for at a gun shop. Prices may vary. When we factor in the cost of the extra magazines compared to the cost of ammunition, to the ability to train, to a lot of different features, yeah, I think the gun does outweigh the cost of the magazines. It's not so bad that I'm gonna say, you know, I don't recommend using this, I recommend so-and-so's gun, because I don't. I highly recommend Walther. Why? I've been using them for so long, I trust them, they work for me. Occasionally I have problems with ammunition, with 22s, but I mean, that's, that's normal. Every gun in the world 
that shoots 22 is going to have some issue with some kinds of ammunition. 22 is just not that highly produced. It's not this super amazing ammunition. Even some match grade ammunition have their occasional problems. So yes, to me, for 350 bucks, this gun is worth it. If this gun was $600 or even like 500 bucks, I may be questioning it because of the cost of the magazine, but for their price, eh. So my final thoughts. Uh, like I said, we've got two guns here. Technically three guns. So, you know, we've got the, the 45 for, you know, my general purpose, my, my everyday carry when I'm out on the ranch. I've got this nice gun on my side that I can take down wild animals that may be in the area that I need to take care of. I can train with this all day long. So which one, you know, do I really, really think? You know, which one is going to fit everybody? And, and the answer is, neither one of these guns are going to fit everybody. Everybody has their own personal preferences. Some people like to go and have that rail because they want to be able to practice with the light. They want to practice with the laser. They want to run whatever. They want to have the, the better sights. Whatever fits you is really what you're going to need to buy because the different guns, they make three different models. And obviously I don't have the gold cup here just because it's not one of those guns that I've ever gone, oh, I really want that in my collection. I wanted this one just so that way that it matches this holster that I carry all the time. It's just another one of those guns that I need in my collection. I have a lot of social media. I've got Twitter, I've got Facebook, I've got Instagram, Pinterest, I've got it all. We're also on Patreon. If you guys want to support our channel, I would really appreciate it if you guys did. It really helps going towards ammunition, being able to get these guns so that way that I can show you these awesome videos. We do appreciate all the help that we get from different companies who send us these firearms for review, but we still have to pay for this ammunition, so please go check out Patreon and think about at least going and, and putting a, a couple of dollars down if you can. I understand not everybody can, but we appreciate it when you guys do. Guys, I'm Atticus James with GearsOfGuns.com. Thank you so much for watching this awesome review of the Walther Colt 1911 chambered in 22 long rifle, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.